What's up gamers, it's Cooper here with Paul, the game director of Brink. We're inside Bethesda's booth again. Um, so Brink is a class-based shooter, um, but it goes a bit beyond that with also objectives, tons of customization. How, how did you guys manage to fit all that in there and have it so polished already? Well, you know, um, at Splashdowns we've been making shooters for about 10 years now. Our first two titles, uh, Wolfenstein Enemy Territory and Enemy Territory Quake Wars uh, for the PC, uh, were objective-oriented kind of class-based shooters, but you know, they were a little bit hardcore, they were really just about online play. With Brink, what we wanted to do was bring in kind of more of a single-player element, so we wanted to have a big arcing storyline and then truly blur the lines between offline and online play. Yeah, you guys, I mean, it's ridiculous how the campaign is the multiplayer. Right. It's basically exactly the same game. And the reason we've done this is not just to, you know, it's not just to, to kind of um, allow you to play the game in different ways. It also means that you can invest in your character. So if you spend hours and hours building this awesome looking guy, you know, uh, pimping out all of his guns, buying loads of cool abilities and stuff, and you've done that and you got to the end of a single player game and start multiplayer, quite often what happens in games is you start again. In our game it's exactly the same game it's completely seamless the transition from single player to co-op to multiplayer is the same so there is actually a single player component where you can play offline and yeah absolutely if you're you anti-social the whole point of the game is you can play it however you like so let's say you know you go out and you buy the game and you're playing at home on your own and you know you're having a blast playing through the uh, resistance campaign and you're about two-thirds of the way through and one of your friends comes online and he wants to play with you he can just jump straight into the campaign with you and play alongside you and using our mission system you can coordinate together to get really cool objectives done. When you do that you earn experience points. It doesn't matter whether you earn your XP in single player co-op or full versus mode, you still level up, you still get cool outfits, weapon unlocks, new abilities, tools and gadgets that just make the game even more fun as you play. And you, you actually gain the XP even for just hitting someone, not necessarily killing them even though it's a smaller amount. Yeah, so absolutely. even if you aren't the best player you can eventually yeah, in get there. In fact in, in Brink you can level up without firing a single shot. You can play, for example, the engineer role and just playing support, you know, putting down defense turrets, guarding an area, putting landmines on the doorway, buffing the uh, the weapons of your teammates, you can level up that way. Or you can be like the guy who's got wicked aim and he's on the front line playing as a soldier, pulling off mid-air headshots and, you know, just, uh, just planting big heavy explosive charges and blowing stuff up. You could play it stealthily as an operative, sneaking around behind enemy lines, using disguises, hacking into computer systems, opening back doors. The whole point of the game really is give you the freedom to choose the combat role that suits your preferred playing style, to play single player co-op or multiplayer depending on what you prefer, and then we even have smart movement system that gives you much better movement within the game too, so you're free to use the tactics that you want. Is that like the, the kind of parkour stuff we're seeing? People vaulting over and sliding under things and stuff yeah, like exactly. that? exactly, but it's not just about movement, it's about movement and shooting. Uh, the system was designed by Aubrey Hesselgren, he's a technical designer over at Splash Damage, and he put a ton of effort into coming up with a system that never takes control away from you. I mean, we know that we can do a lot with a camera to make it look really immersive when you're watching over someone's shoulder, but it can be really disconnecting if it's taking away control from you. So our freedom of movement system, it's called SMART, it stands for smooth movement across random terrain, it's not an autopilot, it's not going to take over your control, but when you press the button it just surveys the opportunities around you and it will let you know if I'm running towards a crate I can vault over the top of it, if I'm running towards the hood of a car I can slide across the top, I can slide across the floor turning sideways and shooting down corridors, or I can climb up and over containers, it just suits the environment without needing to have a million buttons to do it. How long have you guys been developing it? Uh, we, this is well, quite we, large in its scope. We, we announced the game at the um, start of 2008. So we finished Enemy Territory Quake Wars for the PC in late 2007. We were really pleased with the success of that game. We got about 120 awards and nominations. You know, a really good uh, average review scores and stuff. But we wanted to do something completely new and original. We'd worked with id Software for about six or seven years. Uh, we'd been trusted with the Wolfenstein, Doom and Quake universes. And I think we did a pretty good job with that stuff. But we wanted something that was really completely new and that's really where the idea for the art came from so we started at the beginning of 2008 so it's been in development for about two years including a good year 18 months of pre-production uh, right now we're around alpha and we're going to spend the whole of this summer just balancing and polishing and balancing and polishing so that we do when we do come to release the game early next year we know it's going to be the best game that it possibly can be
Awesome, it looks fantastic, and it's PS3, 360, and PC. Yeah, and spring 2011. Awesome, can't wait to try it. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.